what's happening people welcome back i'm with kieran again on the beautiful boat we're just leaving new haven today we haven't really got long because of the tides and, and the way we can get in and out from new haven because they launch and retrieve us so we've got about five and a half hours fishing i reckon now um we're gonna go and try and find some mackerel we're gonna go and hit a few wrecks do a bit of lure fishing today wrecking lure fishing whatever it's a flat flat calm day it should be absolutely stunning out there I've got some new gadgets to test as well, actually. So the first one is, <laughs> Garmin have sent me the Garmin Striker cast. There's loads of fish on the bottom here. So we're gonna be testing the 180 quid Garmin against the five million quid Garmins. Um, this cast, this attaches to your rod. It casts this out, um, it does, the sea obviously a lot of people use it on the lakes it's got sonar it's got gps it's actually a really clever little piece of kit um so a massive massive shout out to garmin for that um, i've had a little play with it already um not not on the water properly um but like indoors unboxed it indoors and all that sort of stuff i didn't do an unboxing video because i know you don't really like them so that's one of my gadgets that can go up there second gadget is this so this is a, uh, is a new tablet from a company called Huge Rock. They messaged me a few months ago, asking me if I'd like to try one out. They're basically, it's got a super, super, super bright screen so that you can see it out on the brightest of days. Well, today, it's pretty bright. So we're gonna put that to the test. Now that Garmin will connect to this tablet. And to be honest, I thought with Kieran's rod holders, I put a rail blazer fitting on it, screw straight to the case, it's spot on really. And I thought it'd fit in there on Kieran's thing, but it doesn't, but it will fit my boat. Um, they also did send me a, um, a proper lot like, holder for it to screw on the railings on the boat, but I didn't, uh, I didn't think I'd needed it. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. But that's, it's quite a nifty bit of kit, to be fair. It is quite a nifty bit of kit. So now I can, I can record on my phone when I'm, when because this has obviously got Navionics on it as well. What I use on the SIB, and I, and I talk about the Navionics all the time. I can now look at the Navionics whilst recording and show you what I'm doing instead of because obviously everyone knows I recorded my phone. I can't record and look on Navionics. So now I've got the best of both worlds. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this. On the SIB, it will be absolutely brilliant. But as Kieran was coming out on the boat today, I thought, well, I can't turn, I can't turn that down. But right, first of all, we're gonna see if we can find some mackerel. Not seen anything yet, but it's So, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll bring his back when we're um, catching some fish. Right, we're over with the first wreck, guys. Kieran just had a monster of a mackerel. It's a bloody big mackerel. You see it swimming around in there? It's a big mackerel. Um, so I've... You what, mate? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've set up to go over this wreck with just some big pink cockeye-type mackerel-type squid feather things. Also, do you remember one of my last videos? I had a, a bit of a nice delivery from Craig from Sea Weights. He sent me these squids on leads. Well, I've rigged them up. This one, I've put an extra one of these egg weights on just because I knew we were fishing in deep water today and it's a decent tide. I wanted to make sure I get to the bottom. All I've done is I've tied a, uh, a rear bass octopus 6 I hook on a bit of line through the middle and that sits in there like that. And that's what I'm using as a lead and also as a lure. So that is just, I'm just connecting that on the bottom and that can be used in any way, shape or form. Whether it'll work, I don't know. Um, but that's literally what I'm dropping down today. I have done the other one without the lead, the bigger one, the blue one. It's here, look, I'll show you. Um, that one. Get off. How cool are they? Um, again, big shout out to Kojak for, uh, for sorting that out for me, one of my subscribers, and obviously Craig for sending them over. Um, I got these big pink law rigs from uh, Medway Tap Supplies yesterday. Hey, oh, got so many different varieties. It's got white feather in it as well. Oh. We stopped. I've got them ones and I've got them multicolored ones. I don't want to say multicolored, red, pink, and white, and stuff. Yeah. Well, the wreck we're in is 106 foot at the minute. Yeah. 106 foot and comes up to about 85, so it's about 20 foot off the bottom. 20 foot high. We're going down, are we? Have you, um, we in the same place we started on the last one? Pretty much. We're going to go down over a slightly. Look at that, look. Look at that in the water. That's wicked, that is. I love it. Right, bring it back. Right, guys. 
We, um, we've done a bit of wrecking. Kieran done all right. He had a bass and a pollock double shot. Nothing massive, but it was nice to see him. Um, but there just wasn't a lot. I had a red gurnard. Um, and again, nothing really to write home about. I couldn't record Kieran's because I just lost my gear in the wreck and I was trying Jealousy. to set up. Jealousy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly what it was. Um, well, anyway, we've since anchored up. We just made up some a uh, couple of bream rigs. I've got a bite. It's going off its tits. Kieran's reeling in one as we speak. We've got this um, miniature net. Oh, has it got a gurnard? Does it, does it need the net? Uh, no. no, hang on, you've got me. I've got you as well. Yeah, oh, that's, that's rubbish. Let's see this fish. And then, um, that's a lovely gurnard, mate. Nice. What, well, guys? I've got to go. Hmm. Check the reeds. Kieran's had another cracking bite on the bream rig. The last two fish we had were dogfish. Bloody dog hunter. Oh, your line again. Oh, again. <laughs> God's sake. <clears throat> We're proper danglers. That there is a black bream. Kieran's into a good bream by the looks of it. He's fighting back. He's actually taking line. We're getting loads of mackerel on the bloody bream rig. So I got mackerel. Well, I had mackerel feathers down, and they're not. They're not doing anything. That's a better bream. Where is it? Uh, little one, up there. Got it? Yeah, he's got his way in there. Oh. Well done, mate. Yeah, that's a much better breed. Kieran just had a rock. He must have weighed 20 pounds. <laughs> I can't believe I've managed to keep pulling it up. I should have recorded it, really. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it must have weighed 15, 20 pounds. It was, it was a big rock with a bit of coral attached to it that had both of his, both of his hooks in it. It was not. It weren't mucking around. This bit of rock. Yeah, that's yeah. That's just as bad as a bass, mate. You better off with a tea bar or a towel. Lovely bring. That's all right, mate. Yeah, nice. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Here's a first for me, guys. A little red mullet. Oh, it's not the best of. Look at that. Such a pretty colour. Never had one before. I'm, I'm happy with that. See that, mate. Swim away. Don't die. Yeah, he's going. Going. Gone. So, Kieran's on the bream rig, just almost lost his rod. It's going a little bit off its tits. Oh, I think it's a tope. Could be an hound. What you got on there, mackerel? Uh... The thing is, the snood line is £15 because I made these bream rigs last night. Look, this is all they are. I've just literally... Loops in the line, three loops in the line. Oh, mate, you're right, you're right. Couple of pop-ups from um, from Craig from Sea Weights, oh, okay. and then these little um, little hooks from Tabruco. It's got to be. I oh, hope we get it. Just to, just to see it, it'd be nice. It's deep though, isn't it? Yeah. Might as well tote there, mate. Why well, trace that? An old mackerel. Oh, if we could see it, that'd be nice. I don't think you'll land it, but... Try and not bully it too much. Oh, it could. Uh, do you know what else it could be? Bullus, what you had last time. Yeah. Bullus go off their um, off their ruggers. Mate, them rods have put up, done the work today, haven't they? First you had a rock. <laughs> <laughs> look at the tip on that too, routine, look. I've not seen anything yet. It's free willy. It's going that way. Oh, I see, I see, I see a tope. <laughs> it's a big tope and all. That's a big fish. That's a, that's a, mate. How have you caught that on my bream rig? Literally, literally caught in a corner. <laughs> of his Fifteen pound mono. <laughs> literally in the corner of his gob. We're gonna net it. Oh, dude, you're gonna have to oh, try no, and no, move no, over. What am I caught on? Everything. Everything. The whole world. <laughs> the whole world. <laughs> <sighs> These cable ties. Right, guys, I've got to go. <laughs> I'll help you with that. <laughs> Kieran's biggest ever tope. Look, lift his shoulders, his mouth, can you? Look, there's my little Trabruco hook stuck in the side of its gob. Literally just. Hang on, let me see if I can get that out. Let's use his pair of scissors. No, I need scissors. There's a, there's a T bar. Oh, you won't, will you? No, I won't. That's why I need uh, to get hold right. of it. Oh, I'll tell you what. Hang on, let me see if I can push it. I might just be able to push it. Hold on. What, oh, I, really wanna, I, what I really want to do is piss it off while you're holding it. <laughs> it got me an all. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
Right, tell you what, put them, put them in the net. Yeah. Uh, I've got some long ice pies. Just dip them in the wall for them. Yeah? Right, well done, mate. That is um, that's that's cracking. That is honestly on that little tiny rig. You've done bloody well there. I must say, this net's nice. Where'd you get this net from? <laughs> Medway Made Tackle. Medway Tackle Supplies. It's a nice net to be honest with you. It's a lovely net. Uh, right, in what that, do you want? Uh, in that side there, there's some long nose pliers. In Kieran's. This is Kieran's tackle, everybody. Not that, not there. Like a, uh, oh, here they are. This little thing. Is this a little Timo yeah, buyer? I bought this off Timo. They were supposed to be, well, they looked in the picture about a foot long. <laughs> they do the job, though. They will cop hold of that little look. To be honest, I'm not worried about the look, I'm worried about the fish. Right, guys, we'll bring you back in a minute. Right, so we've moved now. We've anchored up on the other side of the wreck because the tides have changed and we're drifting now back into the wreck. Um, I'm playing about with my Garmin. What we're thinking is, Kieran's transducer is mucking about with mine, which is why I've got all these marks. The depth is spot on. All right, there's a little bit of discrepancy in this one, sort of between 120 and 115. And we've got about 113 on Kieran's. Um, but look, that's the B, look, the whole thing's moving up and down on the surface, so that is going to be the swell we've got, which is probably about two, three foot, isn't it, Kieran? Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Um, but it's the gain, all these marks, and we think this is getting interference with Kieran's transducer. Um, so what I really need to do is try it on the sib, which is really what it's for, in probably some shallower water, because the max depth on that is 175 foot, I think it said on the box. So look at that. So I don't think we're getting true readings from it. No, water depth, 150 foot. So we're, we are pretty much on its limit, um, but all by 25 foot. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's still a neat little bit of kit. I've got to play around with it a bit more. The, ta the tablet is doing very well. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. I want to come off there. What you got? Oh, that's a nice one, mate. Oh, look, Kieran's fishing. Look, I'm talking about gadgets oh, catching. yeah we're catching to be fair what i said this morning yeah <laughs> said i'm not going fishing tomorrow here and i'm going catching and so far it's not really working for me but golden balls here oh, he's having it up but this is what i like the most my navionics now it's not doing very well at the minute because of um signal and this has got no internet this tablet but now we can really see i mean zoom in on this wreck no not that one i'm losing signal I need to connect it to my phone, to my hotspots, but even then, the signal out here at the minute is pretty rubbish. Um, but yeah. That is, that red dot there is where we are. Off of Beachyhead, Eastbourne, New Haven, out there somewhere, on a wreck. Look at the size of that. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> so we've got a rock. Right, we'll talk about the spider crab in a minute. Because I don't like spiders, right? I don't mind a spider crab, but look at this little fella. Look at that crab. Mate, that is incredible. That is a spidery spider crab, that. So now if that is a land animal, you wouldn't get me touching that. Do you know, I had one of them on the comp. Yeah, we didn't realise it was in here. It was obviously fell off on a bit of weight, but it was tiny. The life on the, right, let's chuck that little fella back. See that, mate? The life on this bit of rock and this coral. It's incredible, really. Right, let's chuck that back. Now, let's talk <laughs> yeah. about the, the elephant in the room. Yeah. <laughs> now, my biggest one, if you've watched my videos for a while, my biggest one of these weighed £4.10. This one's not that big, I don't think. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to drop the Rubens out. Okay, let's just see right just to put on a claw. Oh yeah, no, it's nowhere near it. It's about, I don't know, what's that sound, Kieran? Uh, about one and a half, maybe. No, hold on, I'm really going to get there, aren't I? Uh, two, nearly three pounds. Nearly three pounds, quite a Open up. What? Open up. <laughs> that looks like aliens. <laughs> put it on your face. No. <laughs> I'll put it in my face if you put, put it on your Oh, wait, no way. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> no, that again. No, he's clawed himself up, hasn't he? Wouldn't mind if it was a peel, though. You'd get a few baits out of that, wouldn't you? Right. <laughs> what? Oh, mate. Don't be up. Yeah, it is. Put it back. Brilliant. <laughs> 
Well, this is us guys. We're um, we're packing up. Kieran looks like he could be into a spider crab or reading in his other rod. Um, it's been a good day. It hasn't been the most amazing day. We've had better days, but we've had a lot worse too. The weather's been lovely. It's, there's a bit, it's a bit blowy now. It's starting to pick up a little bit, but it's not rough by any means. I'd be out here in the sea if it's doable for me, so it's doable for this boat, that's for sure. Um, sorry it's been such a long time since I've done the last video, but if I'm honest, I haven't really known what to go for. Um, and again, being honest, I've, I'm not saying I've caught everything and caught all the yeah, biggest of fish. It is a spider crab. But I'm a bit... I'm a bit unsure what to do at the minute with the uh, with the fishing. I've pretty much caught everything I want to caught, catch, other than the taupe off the shore. And, and it's, it's a bit late in the year for that now. And not only, I, I just ain't got the energy or the time to go and catch it. Nice. That's a female. Um, well done, mate. Well, get it off you. Then let's show us how you do that. <laughs> no, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just haven't had it in me, to be honest, to go fishing. I haven't, yeah, I haven't been... If I'm honest, I want to do a bit of freshwater fishing, but I can't make videos on that because you guys don't like it. You'll whinge because you're whingers. No, I'm, you know, I'm joking. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know what I'm going to do for the winter because I'm not going to go chasing cod all around the country like I do every year. Because one, it costs too much, and two, to just go, the, the, the bigger cod ain't about. If it was bigger cod, I'd do it. But for the for the little ones, you, 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 don't, you don't catch many cod, do you? Um, I'm talking about that. I want to go to Yorkshire. Oh, you're right. Well, I'll be chasing. I'll be chasing the cod in Yorkshire on the boat. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a different story. Well, listen. If there's a boat involved, then yes, I will be. Um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not driving right there to fish off Whitby Pier. I want to get the first ling. Oh, on a ling. Yeah, we got to find it. Anyone want to tell us where a ling is? And don't tell me to ask Fish Locker because I'm really not going to. Um, I still meant to be going to Cornwall at some point this year with Luke. In the next few weeks. I'm not sure when. Um, I don't even know if it's definitely going to happen now because the time's getting on and um, Luke's got other commitments now, bless him. But uh, yeah, uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't really know what's happening next or when it's happening. It might be another 20 days until, until the video goes up, guys, um, just because I don't know what to do. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.